Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Millennium Dawn of Soviet Union. Let's continue on for we last off. So the Koreans have done it. South Korea has declared war on the Korean Democratic People's Republic or Democratic People's Republic of Korea. And the Soviet Union, us right here, they're our puppets. So I don't know. I guess. Okay, so I'm guessing because North Korea used to be guaranteed by China, right? But now, because we puppeted them, they're no longer guaranteed by China. So I guess South Korea thinks that we're less of a threat than the Chinese are. Which is maybe true? 37 to 109. I mean, not really. I think we have, like, roughly the same amount of divisions. So I'm not too sure exactly what they were thinking there. But we do have units on the way. I, I don't know how long it'll take for them to get through. I want to send, like, another army in. And the answer is yes. We'll take the units off of Turkey for now. And also send them over to the Korean front. Or we do have naval units kind of also moving in position to kind of blockade the country. Uh, so Korea... You will not accept me giving... You're my... No, you're China. Okay. Offer military. Offer all satellite access to the Koreans. They should say yes to basically everything. Also, Ukraine. Maybe because we went to war, they're, they're uh, less happy with us. I'm defending my ally, and you hate me more for it. Really, really goes to show you how uh, international politics, huh? All of you, by the way, like, go... I guess we have some naval bomb. Like, what are you guys upset about? They're on standby. Well, if you're on standby... Go to this airbase, and then go to Korea. They have a lot of planes here. How big is your airfield? 400 aircraft. I want to build a bigger airbase. SAM sites versus air missiles. I want to build a bigger airbase in Korea. I mean, actually, they have a lot of airbases. So my planes, then. They're also hanging out here. All of you... Fly here. Okay? Um... I don't even know which ones. I guess it, it's... Wh wh whoever is here, I guess. Gonna have you split up. You're going to go here. Uh, I think you can reach it from this airbase. Got to make sure we actually balance these out properly. Because apparently you don't actually have any orders. What's your problem? Your, your transfer plane, air supply, I guess. 700... But the thing is, like, none of you guys actually have, like, great range either. Okay. North Korea's put on the nuclear uh, defense. We, we do just have, like, way more aircraft than the South Koreans do, so we should end up winning just off uh, pure air power. I do want to build more air bases. That's something we should, uh... We should worry about next. Give me a uh, free economic boost. Thank you very much. Promises of peace. Absolutely not. I need to reduce autonomy... Of Belarus again. I do, I do want to pop. I want to annex them at some point. But it might just be a little difficult to do. How long? How expensive? 6,000? How long will this take? 15 to September? Okay, that's actually pretty fast. I'm not going to call in any of our allies yet. I don't think it's necessary to bring them along. By the way, Green Army, where are you guys? Okay, you're just coming around uh, now, and we're going to have our paratroopers come in as well. Where are we going to paratroop? I guess we can just paratroop maybe on your air base? I don't really know, because I've never really used paratroopers in my entire life. Uh, let's go to machine learning next. Uh, and then you guys can go to... I mean, 281 days? Yeah, that's actually not bad. We'll take it. Okay, Ukraine wants an aggression pact. I see no reason to say no to that. Size of military budget. You give me more political. You do give me more political power, but you're so expensive. 
And now, of course, we're at war. Our military budget's insane. It's 160 to decrease this. I mean, that makes sense. 8 to 13. Welfare costs a lot of money. More stability. A little bit more organization as well. But you cost me more political power, which I also like can't really afford. Okay, Ukraine. They've accepted this again. Why does you know what? Just give them the thirty-two billion dollars, and then we'll wait until you're ready to go. Once once I can click this button, um, Ukraine should become a puppet state, which I'll be very happy with. And I can lower their uh, autonomy as well. And here comes our navy. How big is it? Do we have any idea how big the South Korean navy is? Oh, it's way smaller. Okay. Well, then we will convoy raid basically your entire coastline. Because, like, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. You could mine lay as well. And you know what? Uh, we're going to set you to uh, always engage. If any, if you ever, ever, ever see a South Korean uh, boat... You're gonna blow it up. Airdrop. From one of oh, why'd that be from my own airbase? Okay, so apparently I've uh I can't really can't launch from an airbase over here, I guess. I mean that doesn't lower this number. We're 500 to 400, 500 to 400. We're building the air bases up. Or at least we're trying to. Also, why would I put you into a different army group? One transport plane. We have it in this order. One transport plane. You need 20. Okay, okay. Delete your orders for a second. Go here. Could I send, like, one of you? Or, they, or maybe the transport planes just aren't here yet. No, they're definitely here. Maybe they need to be on no orders. There we go. Okay. You can land here. And then I don't know where we would actually land these troops. I guess we land in like Busan. But I'm assuming that the South Koreans have to have units over the entire coastline, right? Like there's no way they wouldn't have troops in Busan. I mean, there's a lot of important cities over here. Give me uh, better aircraft. How are we doing in terms of air superiority, by the way? They have 300 fighters. We even now have, like, complete superiority. Military access for the United States. Again, America. I will reiterate. The combo with enemy air superiority, 2.6%. The air superiority numbers are not looking that good. I think we just need to completely dominate this. And by dominate, like, we need to... We need to basically build more, uh, make the airports bigger, have more aircraft that can actually engage. We can, if we can shoot down here, your organization, here, we'll take this guy next. If we can, um, basically shoot down everything, always engage. I mean, they're always going, man. 700 aircraft, 700 to 700. You guys are looking pretty good. I don't know what the fuck this submarine is doing. He's just having a great time. Hold for a second. Let's go to Busan. Are there units in Busan? There has to be. Like, it'd be silly for them not to. Yes, they do. They don't have any units in this airport, though. They actually don't have any units in this port. For some reason, they don't. Okay. Well. Have this go again. And I guess you pair truck. Drop. Like, it, it's been... No, I don't... Look, I've never taken the corruption, okay? Also, I gotta stop auto-influencing Cuba. Okay. T take a weapon shipment. Take a vehicle package. Turn in the puppet. Ukraine. Current party is emerging outlook. It's not a subject. It's fully independent. Are you not independent? What is... What is in... All the following must be true. Ukraine. Current... Ruling outlook is uh, emerging. Yes. 
Wait, 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 wait. Why are you at war with uh, South Korea? Oh, are you, like, technically, like, a CSTO member? For some I'm going to keep throwing poison here. So once this war is actually over... Like, I, I see no reason to bring anyone else in here. Also, if I shift click... No, you are being influenced. Who else is being auto-influenced? Is it... Be it's not Belarus. Also, Belarus, can I do another meeting between the presidents? Or is that just, like... Is that just over now? Maybe because they're not the Communist Party anymore? Like, that'd be my best guess. Who else am I auto-influencing? Am I... Is it North Korea? Yes. I want to auto-influence uh, Mongolia, then. 42%. But we haven't... We so we have air units coming in here. Paratroopers are, are going to be landing at this port, apparently. I don't know how exactly this works. I think we need air superiority, but we do have air superiority by, like, a long shot. They do have, like, insane defense. Minus 16. They've, they're exceeding combat width by quite a lot. But, I mean, so are we, to be fair. But if we can, like, push into, like, one province here... I would feel pretty good. Like, what's stopping you? Or are you going? I don't know why you don't go. <laughs> to be honest with you. Do you not have planes? You can't go at all. You two can go. I know somebody's going to tell me in the comments, like, hey, dipshit, this is this is how you do, um... 50 transport planes. We have 50. Somebody, somebody tell me how paratroopers work. Because I thought, I thought all of you could go. Like, from you guys, from here to this port. Okay, they went. They took insane damage somehow. I don't know how, but... Sure. And then, there we go. Some of these units are going to be going away. You you might die very fast. Like, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this. Uh, I'm going to say the normal battle plan for now. Green army. Also going to say the normal. I need you to last stand. We have some Korean reinforcements coming in here now. Uh, yellow and green. I need you just to push this front. I, I want this province to fall next. Red army. You weren't actually even in a port province, right? You were in an airport. Okay, you've been, you've been killed off immediately. So I guess we'll... Uh, I guess we'll have this go again. And yeah, you guys just sit here. I, I gotta figure out how naval... I'm not naval, but like anything works. Okay, send these units in. I will say, you guys here aren't really getting... Anything done? Same with you. You guys, anything you want to push in this province? Oh my god, the war is so loud. The thing is, like, the North or the South Koreans, they haven't even, like, tried to push. They started the war and then just did nothing with it, which is, like, insane to me. Okay. Did you have, did you have your election? You know, you have an election this. I'm assuming you're gonna win. Still, like the pro, the pro Russian party. We got a South Korean tank. Do we have spies? I don't have an intelligence agency. We're gonna, we're gonna create uh, the new, the new KGB, the NKGB. Sounds good. Ninety percent. We're gonna get a push through here. 
Again, I mean, I, I appreciate what North Korea is trying to do. And again, we do have, like, good um, 400 planes here, 600. You guys are looking good as well. And I don't think all of you can reach that far. And then I want you to basically push in like this. Okay, expanded this. So, I mean, that should give us an economic boom. Stimulus cost us some money. Let me get uh, 100 points of power, more stability. Okay, we're now in economic boom. Did we actually pass fast growth? I thought we were stable before, but more stability, construction speed, tax revenue goes up. Currently we're losing 10 billion, which kind of sucks, but honestly, it's not that bad. Increase uh, corporate tax rate by 2%. Okay, so who do I want to influence then afterwards? Because Ukraine is basically in the bag. Like, do we just keep going with, like, Belarus? I mean, again, Belarus... I don't know about Belarus, though, man. Five-year plan. Let's reduce the autonomy in Belarus again. What are they at right now? I think we, still, we need to click that... Five, six more times, I think. I think we just put more influence in uh, India. But really, I think this makes the most sense for us. 93, 95. Keep the pressure here. South Korea, I mean, it, it's a very defended border. I can say that with confidence. Actually, what I might want to do is let's bring um, White Army off. No, not White Army. Let's, let's bring Red Army. Yes. We're going to bring you to this port. And your job is basically, so when the paratroopers land in this port, you're going to immediately move to take the port. Try to capture it. Let's try to push it again. How about with the 159? Auto influence. Oh, yes, it's, it's good though. Give you a weapon shipment. Mongolia said yes. India doesn't want a weapon shipment, which is a little sad. I get it. We want to keep on throwing influence in uh, Ukraine until they just accept it. I'm kidding. Did your election happen? Yes. It looks like you've once again won the election. Excellent. Okay. So, yeah. You guys are going to be moving over. Is like like invading here is very very difficult. Like the casualty rates are not looking great, and I, I'm a little sad that Ukraine is. Uh, you know, actually, what I'm going to do here's here's my thought process. Okay, I think your are you politics, Korea, and Ukraine make peace. Okay, they've made peace. Fantastic. Now that you're at peace. I can now puppet you. Yes. And there we go. That see that that's that this is what should have happened this entire time. Right? And now of course we want to start reducing their autonomy as well. But I mean it would take it's gonna take forever, isn't it? Open subjects view. Can you tell me to union states? So they don't, they actually, they don't become free. They become a union state. And build construction. What does that, wait, what does that do? That knowledge steering bonus goes down. Overlord trade bonus. So they, they, they're basically... I don't actually know. Is there like a special little bonus because they used to be uh, in the Soviet Union? Like, is there actually like a, just a unique uh, mechanic for that? I mean, that's nice. I won't say no to it, but I'm just surprised. Okay, where are you guys now? Still pretty far. I don't, I don't want to launch another uh, air raid if I cannot back it up immediately. And that's what I want. I mean, we want to back it up immediately. 
Like, what, what even tiles are you? Hills. I mean, we, we've blown up basically all of your defenses. Because our, sphere, air, our air superiority is just so much greater than yours. 800 out of 800, 700 out of 700. What are you guys up to? Again, you all just kind of like defend green army. Ukrainian election, new government's been formed. Very, very happy to see that. And hey, they got a new flag. Let's go. Okay, Ukraine, Belarus, both of you. It only goes down by 24. Maybe because they're like such a large uh, cyber warfare. I don't even know what I take, actually. I guess give me like one counterinsurgency, maybe? I, I don't really know what, we, uh, what we're we looking here. So, Mer so George Bush has been reelected. Not a major surprise. Again, here comes the reinforcements. Syria asked for a debt bailout. 178 billion. Again, I don't have cash, Syria. You're also, you've once again changed ideologies. You're now social democratic and you are pro... There's actually none of my ideologies even in here anymore. It has a 0% chance to succeed because apparently nobody... Welcome to all of my points here. Again, you're my puppet. There we go. See, th this is more what I wanted to see. 81%. You might PP200 because, again, I don't know. You shouldn't be... Ch I, I, it should have disabled the elections, honestly. There we go. See, that? that's more what I was, uh, more what I was looking for. Stop changing ideologies on me, okay, guys? So I'm going to boost my ideology in uh, Afghanistan a little bit as well. Maybe I should be boosting ideology a little bit more. Maybe that's one of the, the features I've been kind of neglecting somewhat. But I think that at least right now with the... Uh, I was going to say with the Korean War underway. I mean, it's technically true, but n literally nothing's happened yet. But for now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed my thumbs up, not enjoy, click thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.